Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now, this is a video that's been prompted by a subscriber who sent me uh, a message asking me, have a, do I have a video on setting up flaps where you use two servos and a Y cable? And I didn't have a video for that. So I'm gonna show you the settings both in uh, OpenTX Companion and on my radio. So let's switch over to Companion and we're quickly go through these settings. Now I've got my model open. I'm just gonna go straight to the mixers. And what I've done here, you can see that I've set up two types of mixers. As I said before, with OpenTX, there are so many different ways of doing things. And I'm sure there's other people out there who could say you could do it different to this. But I've done two methods because I wanted to you know, show you the flexibility of OpenTX. Right, so we go to the first. I've put the servos onto channel six. So the first line is we've got source max, a weight and offset of zero, and we're using, and in my case, I'm using the switch SC. You can use whichever one you want, and that's the switch forward. Then we would need a second line, and in this line, it will be source max, and this is weight minus 50. Now this obviously would depend on the way the servos are in, orientated within your aeroplane and you could actually change these figures so that you have more or less throw. That would be up to you. But I've basically done um, uh, flaps neutral and then half down and full down. And then we go on to the last line which would be full down. We've got source max. Our weight is minus 100. Our offset is zero and I'll switch SC in the back position. Then we go on to the second method. And here we're gonna go, our first line is gonna be the source is the switch we're going to use. And then the weight and the offset are both the same, and I'd say depending on the orientation of the servos within your aeroplane, uh, minus 100, minus 100, and the switch in the forward position. Then we go on to our second, uh, our line where the flaps are half down, and this will be switch SC and it's weight of 100 plus 100 offset of minus 50 and then the switch our switch in the middle position and then we go to flaps fall down and you can see source is the switch sc our weight is minus 100 offset zero and our switch in the back position so now we can demonstrate this if we go into the simulator okay i'm just going to push across here so we can see our outputs and let's go, let's just neutralize this. Now you can see uh, on chat of uh, channels uh, five and six that we are in the neutral position. And you can see both of those mixes have made the flaps go to half flaps and full. flaps full. Right, now let's switch over to the radio and I will show you on the radio just in case you don't use uh, uh, OpenTX Companion to program your radio. Now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. We're going to hit our model button and we're just going to go across to the mixers and you can see the two ways I set the flaps up. So we're going to the first one. You can see the sources max weight and offset zero and I'll switch SC in the forward position. So we go to the second line of that mix. So that is in the servos in the neutral position or the flaps in the neutral position then we go on to the second one then you can our source is max weight minus 50 offset zero switch sc in the middle position and that is the flaps halfway down and we go to the final line or oh, beg your pardon the final line and here we've got the source is max our weight is minus 100 our offset is zero so that would be the flaps all the way down when we put we select switch C back. Okay, now we can go on to the second way I did this on channel seven. And here we are, our source is the switch uh, C and weight minus 100, offset minus 100 and the switch C in the forward position. Our second line is, so that was our, our servo, uh, our flaps in the neutral position. The second one is plus 100 weight and minus 50% offset and switch SC in the middle position. So that would be our flaps halfway down. Then we go to the final line here and you can see our source is the switch C, our weight is minus 100 offset zero and switch C in the back position. So that will give us full um, flaps. So if we go back now and I push 
there we now should be able to see the uh, flaps actuating now i've put uh, sounds on here now so let's have a look flaps half flaps full flaps half flaps up and there we go that's the settings shown on the radio and there we go there are the settings on the radio now let's take a look at my test rig where i show you this working now when you are using two servos with one Y cable, you have to orientate the servos correctly to make sure they work in the right position. Now, if I remember correctly, it would be that the, each of the servo arms should be facing away from each other. So there is your servo, there's one arm, there's your servo and one arm. But we'll take a look at that on the test rig. Now let's take a look at my test rig. As you can see, I've got the two servos for the flaps and I've connected them to my receiver with a Y cable. You can see the Y cable there, and then it's going into, I think it's on channel, channel six on my receiver. So, and you can see, as I said earlier, the normally they, they would both be pointing towards each other, but it, it uh, doesn't really matter. But to get this to work, you will need to have them in this direction. And as you can see, if I put that flats, the flaps are in the neutral position. Flaps half. Flaps full. Flaps half. Flaps up. And there we go, the flaps working with a Y cable. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.